Well, thank you all for having me here. I appreciate the chance to connect and hear your questions and what you're thinking about. Um, my pathway is one of extreme indirection. <laughs> I um, started out college thinking I would be a pre-med student, but always had been very involved with um, service activities and volunteerism and social change. Um, landed in television news and documentaries here in New York after college and was running a community group in, on the side. And at a certain point, bagged medical school, which was a probably a great decision for me, and um, then became very stumped about what to do with my life. And then I realized that you could have a career making social change. That was a novel idea to me at the time. This was quite a while ago. Um, and I think many, many more pathways through service to careers have opened up since. But it, it became clear to me that it was something important to explore. So I actually found City Year. Um, we have the head of City Year in New York here. Um, <coughs> and I, I basically went to the founders of City Year and said, I'm really interested in exploring this. Let me come work with you for a month and as a volunteer and explore the fit. And it worked out really well and I ended up joining the team there and worked for the national organization for about five years. And in that time, I experienced a lot of the problems that we went on to face um, and try to, to address through the creation of new profit. Um, so let me, let me tell you a little bit of the, the storyline here, which will make the America Forward initiative come alive. Um, we had the experience, and many, many people in the social sector have had the experience, of being able to grow to a certain point and then really hitting a wall. And as we began to think about it, why is it so hard to scale social innovation when something like Coca-Cola can get to every tiny village all over the world? Um, there was a team of people that came together, uh, led by Vanessa Kirsch, the president of New Profit, and including myself and a whole bunch of others, about 10 years ago to say, could we actually model a system that enables social innovation to scale more effectively? What would that look like, and what would it take? Uh, at the same time we were addressing problems in philanthropy, um, we had noticed that a lot of philanthropy was incredibly fragmented and there was a lot of dissatisfaction with a new generation of investors or potential investors who thought about the impact of their dollars in, in really somewhat new ways and wanted much more meat around the idea of what their dollars could do in a, in a much more direct path. And so we put together the new profit model, which combined a venture approach to scaling a portfolio of social entrepreneurs with um, a first take on helping social entrepreneurs get to scale by surrounding them with a ton of different kinds of resources. Strategy consulting through Monitor, our consulting partner, um, financial resources that we raised from high net worth individuals and then passed on to the portfolio, um, intellectual capital, help with developing performance metrics from Robert Kaplan, the inventor of the balance scorecard. And, and this is what we did for 10 years and what we are probably most known for to date. Um, the bottom line is that we feel like it's been pretty successful. The portfolio has great results overall and some of the real name brand growing organizations are in it. We've learned a huge amount. We certainly made mistakes, but, but uh, 201, the social entrepreneurs in those organizations will say that they cannot create the scale of impact that they'd like to see by growing their organizations alone. And so about four years ago, we started saying, well, if it's not going to be just about growing organizations, then what is it? And it was that set of questions that led us to think about bringing together a coalition of social entrepreneurs to try to change the policy environment around them because, as I'm sure you have all discovered, we don't really live in a, an environment where superior solutions can win. The conditions that would enable that just aren't present for the most part. And so we started playing with what the different solutions could be, and we started looking at the government barriers in particular. And that happened to coincide with this incredible moment in time when on both sides of the aisle there was a, a real demand for change where you know, most people in the country felt like we were going in the wrong direction where we had a cadre of social entrepreneurs with proven results who we could point to and say, see, it can work here and here and here, so it should be everywhere. And um, a set of, of leaders who were confident enough in what they could say about their organizations to come together and to try to take on policy in a new way. So that was how America Forward got birthed. It's an initiative that we spearheaded, but it's a coalition of about 70 organizations now. and. I brought you some of the basic information about it, but 
what what we have managed to do is create a policy agenda that had enough appeal on both sides of the aisle that we could have really meaningful conversations with all of the campaigns, not just um, Obama and McCain, but we actually reached all the major campaigns to say, if, if you're thinking about new ways to solve domestic problems, and we really focused our lens there, and in particular problems related to the development of human capital, we have to really take seriously the fact that there are great results and organizations that can scale, and we need to create policies that will enable more of that. Um, that led to the, the specific policy ideas, which I uh, can talk about later on. But that's the intro. Do you want to just say a word about the umbrella of the action tank generally sure. and its relationship to new profit? Yeah. Um, so th there's a notion that uh, really came from City Year in the first place of this, this way of thinking about what an organization can do that isn't just about direct growth, but it's about using a growth and a replicable program model to drive systemic change. And that organization isn't just about being a program, it's not a think tank, it's an action tank. It's uh, an entity that combines action and demonstrated with results with a set of strategies to drive broader changes. City Year is really known for it in relation to the creation of AmeriCorps, and probably different folks can talk about that. But um, the the feeling has, has really been present among all of the social entrepreneurs that we've worked with that what they're trying to do is not just put on a better band-aid, but change systems. And so we've started cultivating um, this notion of becoming action tanks. And several of the organizations in our portfolio have officially declared themselves that, passed it through their boards. And, and we are one ourselves. So we have the direct results from our portfolio, and then we're using those to try to drive a broader set of changes through a policy agenda through also um, a place-based change effort called our Urban Assets Initiative that's looking at how you scale social innovation at the city level. It's a, also a different topic, but we could get into that. Um, and, and the idea is that uh, as, as entrepreneurs are thinking about starting their organizations, it would be incredibly valuable to do it with reference to the broader system that they're trying to change and to not just think about how they grow their program, or how they grow from city A to city B to city C, but to really say what systems are we trying to affect, what markets must we be in to make the point that we need to make to be able to drive those changes, and to really work the strategy forwards and backwards. And, and that's what we think of as being an action tank. 